Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and today I'm going to share with you five signs that your spirit guides are trying to get in touch with you and they have a message for you. As wild as this sounds, this is something that is happening all across the world with all different types of people, all different ages, genders, sex, religious backgrounds, etc. All different types of people, a lot of them anyway, are going through a spiritual awakening a dawning of awareness, an expansion of consciousness where things like <laughs> spirit guides are coming into the picture. And the reality of the fact that you have never been alone in your life and then you do in fact have beings that are connected with you and love you and not only are here to help, but you're living in a time where you can start to kind of perceive in a real way that help and that assistance. And it's an amazing time right now. And a lot of people don't know it when this is happening. They might define it in more of a fearful or negative way or in a way that just causes them to really miss the potentially life-changing, game-changing, you know, forward-moving, powerful messages that these spirit guides are attempting to trickle down into your consciousness for you. And sometimes the the messages, though powerful, though impactful, can come forth in kind of a subtle way where if you're not careful, you can miss it. And I don't want any of you to miss it because right now, all the people who would relate with a, a video like this and are having these uh, spirit guide communications are in a sense here to channel through this, this, this deeper wisdom that you're ac now starting to access, okay? So your spirit guide, was what I'm trying to say here, might have a message for you about a new career, might have a message for you about an, a book you want to write or some kind of thing that you could create with their help that would positively benefit humanity in some way, shape or form. It's important for me that everyone who follows me can understand this type of guidance so that you and then also the world can benefit from it. Sign number one I wrote down, playful nudges. Now I'll expand about, upon what that means. I'll give an example in fact. Sometimes when the timing is ripe for you to really make a shift in your life in a way that again will benefit the whole, the, the, the world, people in some way, shape or form. Sometimes if you're not really acting with the degree of urgency that you could be, so again for the benefit of not only you but other people, then your spirit guides will kind of come in and give you a, a playful nudge. I'll give you a funny example. So you see I got this Tony Robbins hat on. I was there in Florida for the date with Destiny not too long ago. And my friend Aaron Dowdy, a fellow YouTuber, we were staying in this little apartment, this Airbnb close to the, close to the event. And on the last day, we wanted to get the heck out of Dodge and, and go down so, more South Florida uh, or, or Northern Florida to kind of chill out for a couple of days. And we were kind of excited to get out of this apartment and go kind of on a little vacation. So we were rustling, we were kind of racing around, you know, racing around the apartment. And uh, when I was, uh, my room had these really uh, ineffective white blinds. So it was like bright in my room every day. So I had to hang this big blanket to kind of keep it dark. Well, anyway, I was standing on this stand trying to get this thing down. And when I stepped off it, I landed in a way that really rolled my ankle. And it, it was real painful. It sw swelled up. And it was like, oh, wow. And you're like, well, why, why are you telling me this? Dude? Get on to the point, bro. So. Fast forward a little bit, three days ago or four days ago, I was, I'm home now, Michigan, or, uh, Las Vegas. I was at the park with my children. <clears throat> it was late, it was nighttime, and I was walking back with them, trying to manage all them. And I stepped off this paved path with my other ankle, and guess what? I rolled <clears throat> that ankle. So I rolled both ankles when the, in the, within the span of a week. When I haven't rolled an ankle since probably high school, 10, 15 years ago. So it was like a playful little nudge to, to slow down and do what you know you gotta do, which in my case, it's right. And this morning I woke up, both ankles jacked up, a little bit of, a little bit of a flu right now, oh, and yet another confirmation from the helpful spirit guide saying, sit and write. And even though I don't feel that good, as you can probably tell and hear in my voice, and even though my ankles are bo bothering me, I sat down this morning and I, I just typed away on my little iPad, this book I'm writing, and I felt so much joy, so much connection, just so much bliss, and I just feel so, so amazing. So sometimes when life kind of manifests in these sort of coincidental ways, it's your spirit guide trying to nudge you on a path that's gonna really, really benefit you. 
Number two, you might find that you're just stumbling upon content or information about spirit guides. I hear it all the time. People say, Vic, I wasn't really searching for you. In fact, your content's a bit out there for me. I was looking at something else on YouTube and all of a sudden, this video kind of popped up in the suggested video thing on the right-hand side there. And something inside of me told me to click on it. As unusual as your channel looks, I just clicked on it without even really thinking. And all of a sudden, it's like, oh my God, there's this guy on YouTube, this freaking guy is speaking to me and it's resonating and it's helping me. So. That can happen to you when it's really time for you to become aware of the fact that you have spirit guides and they're actually here to hook you up and help you and guide you along through life. Okay, you'll, you'll have that same type of experience, whether it's maybe this video for a lot of you probably, um, it could be something very different. Maybe you're watching this video and, and not too long ago, what I just said happened to you and it's like this stacking of, of confirmations or you're, you got a book, or whatever. You'll find, your, you'll find the information relevant to what you're experiencing that may be a bit of a stretch for your physical mind you'll find that information just tends to find you it just falls into your lap in a million different ways and when it does not only is it uh will it resonate and ring true to you but you'll also parallel to that have kind of an intuition like huh there's something here there's something i should really pay attention to with this whole spirit guide information. So is that happening to you? Are you finding spirit guide type of content and just kind of falling into your lap more so when you digest it in whatever way that is, where you're listening to a podcast or watching a video, is it ringing true to you? And that's certainly a sign that your spirit guides are trying to kind of, again, come into your life in a way that you can perceive them and benefit from them. Number three, and one of the reasons I'm making this video is sometimes at night, Specifically at night, because at that time, your, your mind is more relaxed, usually. Your body's relaxed, and your awareness is expanded. You're more in like the theta state of consciousness, which is a higher vibrational state, where you can perceive more of the moment, more of reality, than you normally can when you're in kind of the beta or alpha state as you're kind of going through life, drinking your coffee, and doing your day-to-day -day stuff, okay? So because of this, at night sometimes, you will sense, feel, sometimes even kind of see presences, beings, energies, consciousnesses in your room when you're trying to get some sleep. And a lot of us, we think we're being haunted. We, we have a lot, society has a lot of very fearful ways of defining such phenomenon. And it's no wonder why people feel freaked the heck out. Even I, me in the past too. Um, but I know that when there are just times, waves of connection for, for me where I'll just spirit guides will be kind of a theme I'll be working with them in some capacity and a lot of times this is initiated by me just starting to not feel like I'm alone in my room but fortunately because uh, time has gone by I've learned that when I feel that presence I can trust a lot of things I can trust my own power to not be affected by any sort of negative presence I can trust that you know, I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job at life, and so are you. You're, you're really living a much at a higher frequency than most people, making it very unlikely you're going to really attract darker beings. Conclude where you, I would conclude that when I feel these presences, even though it's unusual to me, even though it can be a bit unnerving, I've learned I can trust them, and when I kind of let go and trust and choose to feel safe in these settings, that's when the messages come in. That's when the healings come through. That's when the, my, my talk to them in my dreams and all sorts of crazy, helpful, mystical type of encounters can result when you choose to trust, okay? And that's one of the main reasons I shared this video because a lot of people are, are, are contracting out of fear and they don't know what the heck's going on. They're confused. What the hell? Why would I feel <laughs> beings in my room? This is not good. I need a, an exorcist to sage the place. What? A lot of the times, no. A lot of times it's this introduction to a very beautiful, deeper connection with the loved ones you are connected to on the other side that just want to help. Another very common way that your spirit guides will try to get your attention is in the dream state. Kind of like what I was saying earlier, when you're dreaming, you're, you're relaxed, you're more open, you're more perceptive to other things that are in reality that you can now kind of perceive. And many times your spirit guides will come into your dreams, but not as they actually are. You know, 
we're pretty closed off still, most of us, me included, from how reality actually is. And therefore our spirit guide, if they were to appear as they really are, it might be just too foreign and, and unfamiliar and, and therefore scary to our, our physical mind and our sort of splintered off egoic consciousness that most of us still have. So therefore, they don't need to disrupt us too much. They will come into your dream state as a, a character, as a person, a friend maybe, that's very familiar to you. And it's not that, how do you know? It's not just your dream. Well, what'll happen is there'll be a character you're very comfortable and familiar with and it'll be like what they say to you or, or what you learn from the dream. You might wake up having heard something from a character in your dream that's like, whoa, that's spot on, that's awfully relevant and helpful in my life. Man, that really helps things make a lot more sense and it'll be this mind blowing, like, whoa, this aha moment, okay? A lot of times your spirit guides will, will hook you up with these little tidbits of, of wisdom and insight and information and guidance through the, another character. Like for me, I'll give you an example. And there's this person I like to watch, or at least I used to, I haven't watched him in a while. His name is Bashar. He's a channeler. He's kind of like Abraham Hicks in a sense. And sometimes I'll have dreams of Bashar delivering me these very like perfect and spot on and relevant and amazing messages. Now, I don't believe it's actually Bashar coming into my dream. No, it's just, uh, it's uh, again, my spirit guide kind of uh, in a costume in a sense that I'm comfortable with and therefore can be receptive to the, the important thing, which is the information that's coming through. Another thing is sometimes you'll develop or become aware of your own personal cues of confirmation. Sometimes the spirit guides will just sort of put a thought in your mind. Or if you've been driving down the road and all of a sudden, for no reason, you almost unconsciously decide to jet your head over to the left or right or up or down, and then you happen to, you happen to be looking straight at some kind of real synchronistic message for you, a lot of times your spirit guides will, will, will do that for you. And sometimes, in addition to, you'll have your own personal cues. Like for example, when that happens to me, which it does happen sometimes, but I just jet my head to the left or right and there's a message for me that's totally spot on and perfect in my life as that's happening. And as I'm having the intuition that, wow, this is a very helpful synchronistic message, I'll feel my cue. Which for me, it's taps. I feel taps on my limbs, like a, almost like a, not really aggressive, but not super subtle. It's, it's like almost like, there's a little person inside of my body poking out at my skin, like pop, 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 It'll kind of flutter sometimes. And again, in perfect, you know, sp uh, impeccable timing in, in sync with the, the message, the synchronicity that life is aligning me with. It'll all kind of happen at once. And again, for, me, for you, you might not relate with taps. You might feel something else. I know some people, everyone is really different. And you know, your spirit guides can talk to you and sort of let you know they're there in many different ways. Sometimes you maybe just smell a certain fragrance that's like, where's where this coming from? Freaking lemongrass? There's no open essential oil bottles in, in the area. And uh, lemongrass. Or maybe you feel the presence behind you as you're getting this amazing insight. There, there's, I'm not gonna go on because there's just so, it's such a diverse way people experience this. But as this journey of connection continues to develop between you and your spirit guides, you'll come to find out your own cues. And then they'll be just very helpful confirmation and really allow you to kind of, again, just be able to benefit from whatever message is coming through that you might have in the past missed. So you might be relate to some of this stuff and it's probably, you're probably wondering, well, what are they trying to tell me? I understand, I relate or resonate with these signs that there are, there's communication coming to me from these spirit guides of mine, apparently. Now, what are they trying to say? Now, that's something I can't answer. That's something that you can now answer with your own intuition now that you can recognize when it's happening for you. Because this has been happening for you all throughout your life. But most of us, when we, we grew up, we, we lived a more unconscious lives where we were really just severed off from our intuition. And a lot of these, these helpful messages, as much as they're trying to cook us up with them, we just miss them. They would fall on deaf ears. Um, but now we're living in a time where it's not happening so much. You, you're, you're expanded enough to where this can be part of your life. You can really call upon your guides anytime you want. And if you, if you watch this whole video, maybe you're not having any of this. Uh, if you relate with what I'm saying in some way, 
uh, you could just call upon them and say, hey, yo, spirit guides, I would like to know you're here. I would like to know in my own way that you exist and that you actually have my back. I guarantee they will uh, present themselves to you in a way that you'll notice and you'll have your own personal confirmation. Okay, so if, if there's anything I can leave you with, is it's just to be open to the possibility and to know it's going to be a very unique and individual and perfect experience for you, but you're living in a time, and if you relate with this type of content in any way, it's a very high likelihood that you're already having the spirit guide encounters and maybe you just don't know it. And now with this awareness, you can really, again, you can benefit from it. You can have million dollar ideas pop into your mind. And when you, have, when you can sort of be aware that, ah, that came from somewhere else. I had the taps, the synchronicity, all these different signs are playing out for me. Then it's like, then you know, oh, that's a golden nugget, a nugget you want to apply into your life, okay? Rather than just being some kind of fleeting idea that pops through your mind. You'll, you'll know when to catch it and ground it and apply it into your life. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, when you start to really take Take action upon these intuitive insights that oftentimes are inspired by your spirit guides. Your life will blossom. It will transform in ways you can't even fathom. I guarantee it. Okay? Anyways, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. Namaste. Namaste.